Taylor gang. Let's get it. Young money. Yeah. Some people coming with me and I know who they are And some that just ain't gonna make it and I know who they are And I know they ain't gonna like it but it's quite alright I ain't need no one my whole life and I've done alright I can do bad by myself These days you never can tell Except the people who been with me and they know who they are yeah, they know my true colors and they see what they are video slash vlog of what i've been up to lately before we get into the video make sure that you like comment and subscribe to be notified every time your girl posts a video yeah hit the notification bell to be notified if this is your first time watching me welcome so you guys basically yeah life has been going bland really i've just been getting more organized so organization looks like for me um really just better you know having things in order in a different way that than i do normally if you guys know i always do um cleaning vlog organization vlogs and things of that nature but this of what i'm doing now is different i'm not downsizing yeah like i said just getting better organized with everything and lately i've been working on um and focus a lot of my time on healthy recipes and stuff like that uh, i really want to start this new health kick journey as you guys know a couple of months ago i lost at least 25 pounds and um it was it was pretty dope but i gained the majority of the weight back um from drinking sodas and getting stressed and you know stress eating and i kind of fell back into a habit again and so a couple of weeks ago i started the walking journey i can just say like with that i felt so liberated um walking getting up every day walking at 5 a.m with the kids and getting to be out in nature and really just taking seriously my health as far as exercising and working out <clears throat> i think that was the catapult for me to just be able to open up different avenues of my life and just be like yeah so one of those things like i said before is healthy eating now so um earlier i want to say earlier this week i started kind of doing you know different spots of the house making sure it's you know everything has a place it's you know it's not in a miscellaneous pile or it's not just you know let me put all of this in this and you know you you, you got to go back through it and so you know i've always been the type of person like i said to have all of that stuff together but this week i've really been focusing on kind of like just getting rid of a lot of stuff important for your mental health because if you got a cluttered space you got a cluttered mind yeah so i've been doing that and it's been feeling really good you know like i say none of this stuff i feel like none of this stuff 
it's none of it is in vain like everything has a purpose and it has a reason but i just feel like it's a healthier lifestyle not just for your body but also for your mind or your sacred space it could even just be for your sacred space making sure that you have not just your body or your mind but your temple your sanctuary if it's any anything that is going to grow dust and you know you don't need it get rid of it somebody else probably can use it you know it just may be something that you just really been holding on to and you just really don't you know what i'm saying realize how much somebody else could probably use it or you just maybe just need to throw it away and get rid of it as far as this eating lifestyle you guys know um i think i've shared this before two or three years ago um i stopped eating beef and pork and things of that nature so with that being the situation i still do eat chicken now the thing is you guys i stopped drinking pop or soda I want to say four or five months ago okay the reason why i gained the majority of my weight back is because even when i don't say i don't eat one meal a day i was still dibbling my handy dandy soda or my handy dandy um this guy so with that being a situation, a case, it really put me in a bind when it came down to my my journey because it was it was something that I didn't really want to let go of. But I noticed that when I decided to get rid of it, how much weight I lost of just drinking water, and I and I always been a type that just like I felt like for me specifically, like oh, it was so much, you know what I'm saying that. I could do or my body would allow myself personally I could lose the weight um, because I felt like I had PCOS um, at a very young age I was I was diagnosed with polycystic ovaries it was just really hard for me to kind of lose weight unless I was like kind of like overly pushing it or you know what I'm saying I wouldn't be able to sleep whatever it's just it just really took a toll on my mental health because like i said i felt like i couldn't lose the weight but once i let go of things a little bit by a little bit not that it was much but i saw the result in just drinking more water like i said it was very beneficial which has taken me to the next step of my journey which is um creating different and new recipes and new things in my life since i'm getting rid of a lot since we are in the process of shedding you know and getting ready to go into the fall um soon the same way that you you know get rid of these different things you can pick up new habits so you know um i've gotten my handy dandy notebook i have a notebook for everything you guys i have several notebooks i can just you know show you a little bit over here some of my notebooks over here I have so many notebooks, but in this in particular notebook, this is gonna be my recipe book. And I've already kind of started making like, um, writing my recipes down, not only for myself, but for my children. Like I say, I feel like, you know, it's, it's not always, they don't necessarily have to always be looked at as a negative if you're losing something or you're getting rid of something because there's so much more to gain and i just kind of wanted to share light on that with you guys today and kind of let you know where you know i am with my personal journey so i can kind of um you know share that with you guys and may inspire you guys you know and let you know that in the process of you know wherever you are in life that you don't have to necessarily feel like you're having to lose so much you know what i'm saying just like with recipes it can be the smallest thing acknowledging that just because you're getting rid of something or something is going out you know what i'm saying is something coming in as well you just have to be patient and you have to be dedicated and willing to lose you got to be willing to lose that's one thing i've learned about you know this whole process of 2020 going through 2022 going into 2023 now is <clears throat> are you willing and, and willing to lose are you willing to lose relationships are you willing to lose um uh, money are you willing to lose oh uh, anything any type of attachments that you hold on to, to anything whether it be food people relationships sex addiction cigarettes drinks alcohol food whatever it is are you when you say i'm willing to try this 
when you say i'm sorry but I, when you're willing to say i'm i'm willing to try these i'm willing to give it up you know you just open up a different door from spirit to be able to you know what i'm saying guide you to be able to give you that extra nudge because you were willing to take the risk and the gamble so i feel like you know i just had to share that with you guys today and just let you know that that's what i've kind of been up to and i haven't been recording personal vlogs as much um with you guys because i'm still learning and i'm still growing too but you know um i'm just thankful that you know i still do have this platform to be able to share with you my journey and you kind of you can kind of think about this or view this as something like a confessional where you watch reality tv and they go in the little cubicle by themselves and they just tell you about you know what i'm saying their overall opinions or their views it's kind of like what i'm doing with y'all with my life and my journey i'm sharing with you like um you know what's been going on and stuff like that and i'm gonna get back to the point to where i do cleaning vlogs like i said i just want to share something else different with you guys but um yeah i want you guys to comment down below how you've been liking the commentary of the new show um the new shows that i've been reviewing house of the dragon i said the dragon house y'all know what i mean and the other show i think i was watching is uh the american horse series i might do <laughs> i might do uh, a review of it tonight or tomorrow but um Thank you guys for just supporting me on this journey as well. Like I said, again, I, I, I really appreciate it. And I just want to thank you guys um, and let you know how, how much I appreciate you guys. But you know what I'm saying? Just like I said, like I said before, it's just one day at a time, one step at a time and continue to subscribe to the experience. It's all an experience and it's all interchangeable. Um, not just what suits you the mundane way but even sometimes when it doesn't fit you you know what i'm saying like um it's just like life is just like a, a puzzle piece or a lego set you know what i'm saying you have different pieces that you can fit into different things and you know just because you may be 30 or you may be 40 or you may be 50 does not mean that you you have to give up or you can throw it in the towel it's just every day you can you know some days i, I can say like literally sometimes you just may want to scream and cry like and I feel like that is okay. Like, scream and cry, bitch. Scream and kick your feet and cry. Kick your feet and cry. This little boy right here, he gonna kick his feet and cry. And one thing about about that is the spirit is saying with me, sometimes that's what you need. Sometimes they give you the extra initiative and they give you the extra push, honey. When you can take a break out and say, hey, bitch, I've been running this, this, this race for a little minute. Do you hear me? I need a motherfucking crying break, bitch. Period. I need a crying break because life has been lifing. Period. Okay, so Spirit say it give you the initiative, give you that pop, it give you that drive. Because once you get all let out and you rested and you, you reboot, <laughs> bitch, you ready to go back to work? Excuse me, I'm recording a video. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like. Y'all, it, it be days where I really just could go into a whole goddamn sad tangent. I'm not making excuses for it, but we are human beings. We're not kids, but we are adults and we do have emotions just like children. So don't don't get down in the dumps or don't let nobody make you think that because you are having emotions or you want to fall out and cry, you a grown ass person. Goddamn, wait, is gas life been life and with gas prices and food prices? Bitch, I wish I, I wish I do. Keeping it till for the next motherfucker trying to play like my life ain't is is easy or something. Girl, please, girl, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna scream, I'm gonna cuss you out, and then I'm gonna tell you that I love you if I got to. And I don't mean towards another individual. I'm just saying that's just maybe my personal energy, girl. I'm, I might might cuss you out today. We may make up in three days, four days, and I'm gonna tell you every reason why. And I'm going to tell you that I apologize and I love you the same. Or it could be, you know, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, I just want you to know that, y'all, we got these. It's slow as fuck for me. And I know it may be slow or maybe whatever the situation is in your life. But we doing a damn thing. We getting through this. And it's going to be 2023. And I don't mean to sound funny, but I'm going to go ahead and say this. Bitch, it's almost tax time again. Period. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
So, uh, <laughs> if I can't say nothing else, like, that's the, that's the reason to smile, okay? For some, that's the reason to smile. But in all seriousness, thank you guys again. And, um, yeah, I just said to come here and be funny and be serious and all the things. Sorry for the, the background, nitty and gritty. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I love you. Until next time, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to be notified every time your girl posts a video. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Bye, y'all. Peace. You can't fall. You get what you made is what you pay for. So make sure the stars is what you aim for. Make mistakes, though. I never worry.